So July 28th, 2018 was the closest that my brother Cheeks has ever been together because we almost got state rep. Here's what happened. So we were in Livermore, downtown Livermore, around like 11, 12 o'clock at night. You know, just cruising, mind our own business. I did a friendly pool, and the way that I did it, so it was like a bridge up far, not far, but it was like kind of close. I did a pool, um, and I went underneath the bridge, but the way that the bridge was set is it kind of brought light behind me. And so when I looked behind me, I noticed a cop SUV. Oh, it's bad. You, you know when a cop's gonna pull you over when they drive close behind you. It's it's an automatic thing. Like they don't do it for no reason. So he was pretty close. So I was like, oh my god. So he pulled me over, and I of course let all my windows down because I have five percent tent. And this is exactly what happened. Cite you for your speed. Okay. So I'll tell you. No, I, I might even agree that it is fun to have a modified. Vehicle, okay. But when you're driving in downtown Livermore disturbing the people that are there when you drive through neighborhoods with your exhaust it can be quite annoying to other people okay. all right yeah no, I, so I in order to get these things fixed you're going to have to return your vehicle back to stock okay. i did not cite you for the catalytic converters because again i'm not an ASE certified master mechanic but okay. i personally don't think that they're there okay so uh as far as the intake so um if stock. i if i can get it like the sticker stock. or whatever so it, came I, on your car. it would just have to be back to stock in order to get a sign You can, if, if okay. you have a carb sticker that belongs to that Roush intake, then that would, that would, that would be acceptable. Okay. Do you have any other questions for me? No, that's it. All right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate Drive it. Drive safe. Keep your speed down until you get out of town so I don't hear it. Okay. Thank you. So after he got done saying what he had to say, we drive off and the next light he pulls behind me again and he gets out. I'm like, oh my God, what now? So he comes to my door and he hands me my ID and I was shook. I was like, I guess I was so stuck on the fact that I didn't get a state rep that everything else just didn't matter. But the main thing when I get a ticket is I want to be that person where their ticket doesn't come in the mail and they don't have to pay it. So he got me, he got me for modded exhaust. That's the reason why he pulled me over because obviously he heard me. He didn't see me because if he would have saw me, then he would have got me for speeding. He didn't give me a speeding ticket. He got me for exhaust. So he got me for exhaust. Modded intake, whatever. It's it's a Roush intake. The reason why he only got me down for that is because I didn't have a sticker for it, but whatever. And then he got me for no license plates. Okay, I can vouch for that. I don't have any license plates on the vehicle. But after he gave me that ticket, I was like, okay, I'm gonna cross my fingers. Hopefully I don't get it in the mail because I don't have to pay for it. That wasn't the case. I get the ticket in the mail, right? Chris is the one that opened it. He was like, how much do you think it's gonna be? I was like, mm, maybe like 500, whatever, I'll just pay it. This is how much the ticket is. The amount is $862. Now if I correct it, now the only thing that's correctable that's on the ticket is the license plates. I don't have no idea, I even have proof from the video. He said if I return it back to stock, okay I can get it signed off, whatever. With correction, it's $720 that I have to pay <laughs> because he pulled me over for a moderate exhaust and because I literally don't have a sticker that says it's carb legal. So I'm not gonna lie, when I got that ticket, I was pretty much salty that whole night, but the next day it was just like whatever. I mean, I got the ticket, I'm gonna go to court, see if they can lower it, and I'll just pay it. There's no point in like getting mad over it or you know, like fussing about it, because it is what it is. But, enough of that. A little update on the ST. We're actually, I don't know if I should tell you guys if I just let it be a surprise, but I'm gonna just tell you. We actually in the works of trying to get this thing bagged. I don't know what management I'm gonna get, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just buy the suspension first and then the management later. But in about two weeks, actually two weeks from today, so today's Wednesday, two weeks from today we are gonna be in Vegas. Now I did it I did the same thing with Mexico. Vegas is gonna be 
straight comedy so you guys are going to see a vlog on a channel that's going to be besides cars and all that stuff and it's just going to be our vegas trip like i said that trip's going to be comedy so look out for that and then in november november 10th to be exact we are heading out to la for a car meet so look out for that also but like i said we are in the works of being this car bagged and uh it should be pretty clean the main thing people think about when they see or hear about bags is the car is going to be stance. Like that's not what we're going after. This car is going to be pretty clean. If that's all you've seen on the internet is stance bagged cars, then uh, this is definitely going to give you a, a different outlook on that. But like I said, it's going to be clean. After we do the bag system, then we're going to look into going ox filling so I can get that E85 and get a full tune. And this car would be really, really, really disgusting. I promise. And it may seem like I'm almost finished with it. <laughs> Truth is, I'm not. I mean, like I said, I gotta get, I'm looking into getting bags right now, so that literally should happen this year. And then after that, we're going to Ox Fueling, E85, full tune. Um, I did forget the, about the blow-off valve, so I gotta buy that. But as far as how the big turbo is holding up, it's holding up very well. I actually just put on my under panels like a few hours ago. Um, the reason why I didn't put them on after we got done with the installation, because I wanted to make sure that there was no leaks at all. And I am like extremely grateful, extremely blessed the fact that it, there's no leaks because I've seen in the past where people have had problems leaking with oil and coolant and that's like, that's just a problem that you do not want to have because then you got to go and troubleshoot why it's leaking and in some cases you got to figure out where it's leaking. So I'm, I'm extremely grateful that I don't have that problem. Um, like I said, when I did put the under panels on, I did look underneath there and everything was good to go. So like I said, um, I'm just extremely happy with this car right now but like I said look out for that Vegas vlog because it's gonna be straight comedies it will be hilarious but I will catch you guys in the next video this was just like a little update video let you know exactly what's going on but I will catch you next time peace out I've been really trying baby trying to hold back this feeling for so long and if you feel like I feel baby then come on oh